Hello everyone. Hope you all are healthy and fine at your home. I am your host Monica Kapoor from Raval Convent School and today we are going to learn about how to write an informal letter. And this is a very common and very easy topic related to 6th, 7th and 8th class. So let's get started. So first of all we have to understand what is a letter. A letter is a written form of conveying your messages. And the primary purpose of letter is to communicate with each other in written form. Now let's understand the types of letter. There are mainly two types of letter. One is formal letter and other is informal letter. The formal letter is written for professional purpose. This is the specific objective only. It uses simple language which is easy to understand and interpret. Formal letters are written to government department or in offices as you can see in these pictures. Now let's understand when we use informal letters. Informal letters are written for personal communication. It uses casual and emotional tone. Informal letters are written to close friends and to close family members. So this is the basic difference between the formal letter and informal letter. As formal letters we are using for business or professional purposes and in the informal letters we are using casual and emotional tone and only used for the personal communication. Now let's understand the format of informal letter. How to write an informal letter? First, we have to understand what is an informal letter. Then we will look into the format of informal letter. And finally, we will understand the formal format with the help of an example. Now let's understand what is an informal letter. As we discussed earlier, in formal letters, we always use the casual tone and we write it for the personal communication. We write it to our friends, to our close family members or any close one whom you want to discuss your feelings and emotions very openly and in a very casual tone. Hope it is clear what is an informal letter. Let's understand the format of informal letter writing. An informal letter must have six things in it. Number one is sender's detail. Here the sender's address come and the sender is the one who is writing the letter. Number two, that is the date. The date on which letter is written. Suppose you are writing letter on 3rd April 2020. You can write in this way which is mentioned here. This is the most common way of writing a date. Step number three is salutation. Salutation is a greeting which is used in a letter. Generally we use dear followed by a recipient's given name. If the name is of your best friend, then you can use the word bestie. 
if you are writing to your mother you can write dear mother step number 4 is the body of the letter it is the actual description or message which you want to give to the receiver we will discuss about it in more detail later on now come to step number 5 that is the complimentary close it is the way to end the letter it means you are saying good boy bye in general terms it generally use yours lovingly in informal letters Now step number 6 is sender's name and signature here you have to mention the sender's name and signatures now i would like that you pause your video for some time and once again revise the all these six steps of format of informal letter writing now move further now let's understand about the body of the letter it is usually divided into three parts number 1 is introduction the introduction paragraph shares the purpose of letter number 2 is the main content it conveys all the necessary details Now the last one the step number 3 summary it summarizes the information well this is the journal body format of a for any letter so there are some certain key points that you need to remember while you are writing an informal letter point number 1 you should use casual tone while writing the letter point number 2 contractions that you can use contractions here like i haven't instead of i have not point number 3 is exclamatory sentences you can use exclamatory sentences in informal letters Point number 4 is you should write letter in active voice. And point number 5 is no strict rule that means this is a very important point that there is no such strict rule that you have to divide your letter into three paragraphs. There is no uh, strict command over the language. You can use casual tone because you are writing letter to your near and dear ones. So there is no strict rule to be followed in this informal letter writing. So you please keep these points in your mind while writing a writing any informal letter. Now let's see an example and understand. in a more better way write a letter to your classmate who has been absent from school for a week and inform him about the important things that happened during his absence so first of all we have to understand the question once we understand the question that we have to write a letter to our classmate so let's get started point number 1 as we discussed earlier in the format of letter writing is sender's detail here i mentioned the sender's detail w102 maya enclave new delhi any random address if it is not mentioned in the question Point number two is here is the date, the day on which letter is written. Point number three is salutation. As we are writing a letter to our classmate, 
you can use the name of your classmate or you can use the word bestie over here if the classmate is your best friend point number 5 is the body of letter i hope everything is all right you have been absent from school for about a week now and everybody including the class teacher and the headmistress have been enquiring about you during your absence two important things happened one of them is surprise maths unit test and the other is the selection of school basketball team i'm sure if you were present you would have made it to the basketball team i hope you are not ill and please write to me about the reason behind your absence i am looking forward to hearing from you soon now point number 5 is as we discussed earlier is complimentary close so i am mentioning over here is your lovingly point number 5 is name and signatures of the sender like there is no name mentioned in the question given above so i written over here uh, any random name like rohit you can write of your own choice if the name is not given and signatures at the end so i hope the letter will become more clear to you with this example once again revise it first of all we have mentioned the sender's details then date after the date is salutation then body of letter then complimentary close and at last name and signature now your letter is ready to be posted so pause your video look at the example once again thank you so much for watching my video i hope this video will help you in scoring more better in your examination and i hope this informal writing concept will become more clear to you thank you